Hi guys, Mike Hayden from 24 Hour Solar Power here. What today we're talking about is a Victron Easy Solars. Now I really rate these products. They're um, financially they work out really cost effective. Um, they're an all-in-one unit. So basically they come with all your monitoring, your inverter charger, your solar charge controller in the back here. It's got an MPPT, um, it's actually a 70 amp MPPT in the back. And it's got all the pre-sub board wired in. So the reason this is really good is if you're off grid, all your sub boards already pre-wired in with RCDs and things like that. Or if you're in a house in an urban environment, you could install this as a separate system from your current household and you can actually take all the circuits off that you want to run just purely from batteries. Um, we do a lot of rewiring in people's houses but we rewire dedicated circuits and these make it great. A lot of people now want to go off grid um, and financially the numbers really don't add up um, is the reality of it um, unless you live in South Australia. Um, so. What we do is we rewire people's houses and do dedicated circuits. So say for example, you might take off your grid, your, your lights, your TVs, your fridges, your computers. If the grid go, did go down, what would you want to run? I know a lot of people, we ask that question, like I want to run my air conditioner. So um, these systems are great to do that. So an all-in-one unit, like I said, comes with the monitoring, your inverter charger built in, your subboard and your solar charge controller in the back. It's pretty simple with your solar panels. Um, you can DIY and do all this yourself. You can do it all low voltage and you just plug your solar panels into the bottom of the MPPT up in here, which makes life simple. So for our pre-wired kits, we pre-wire these here and send them out. Um, how we basically do it, we'll start up here. We pre-wire all your battery cables, so it's really simple for you. Um, all our systems come with a battery monitor, which is really important to have a battery monitor installed in your system for your warranty of your batteries. Um, so yeah, for example, you can just slip it in there, hook it up to your battery terminal. Then you go down to your fuse. So we pre-wire them over the lugs. So you just bolt it straight to the fuse holder. These are a quick disconnect fuse holder for safety purposes. So you run it down to the bolts in the back of these. We put the right size um, cables on there. So these ones actually have a M8. So M8 to M8. Install your fuse holder down there. Anything ever happens, you just pull that out and disconnects everything. There's no battery power going to the inverter chargers or the MPPT, and it'll basically kill everything. So everything's off for safety. Just touching on that, there's certain sizes between 24 volt and 48 volt systems. Most systems, three KVA inverter chargers, um, we normally like to stick to 24 volt systems. When you're increasing size and going over to a 5 kVA inverter, you can do it on 24 volt, but this is the reality in the size of the fuses. So you're gonna to require to get a bigger fuse if you wanna double your inverter size up and financially it costs a lot of money. These cost, yeah, almost three times as much as these. Um, and the fuse holder's like this size, so it's a lot bigger than that one. Um, so when designing and considering a system, um, you're sometimes better off, or well, most of the time you're better off going smaller batteries and having more of them and more smaller cells and going a 48 volt system than trying to do a 5 kVA inverter from a 24 volt system and that all really depends on your load and what you do and things like that so uh, everyone's different but rule of thumb 3 kVA is 24 volt if you want to go to a 5 kVA I highly recommend reinvestigating your system and looking at putting a 48 volt system in um, so we do all those, we do all the pre-wired cables, so from the fuse box down into your um, shunt on your battery monitor, so literally it's quite simple, you just go from the fuse to the shunt, the shunts actually have M10 bolts on it, so we've put all the lugs with M10s on it, so it's pretty hard to get wrong, pretty easy, so yeah, it's simple. Um, run your cables down to your battery, so that all comes pre-wired, we pre-wire these caravan plugs, now um, there's two ways of doing these. So if you don't have the grid, these are designed for your generator. We can wire it on the board there, or you can do it all yourself. Just really depends how much you want us to be involved. You wire these into your input on your inverter, and basically when you start your generator, the Easy Solar fires up, charges the batteries, and run, runs a load at the same time. If you don't have a generator and you're living in an urban environment, now this is where 
Legally, you're required to have an electrician to do this. Um, get the electrician to come in and wire in uh, your mains in your inverter charger. And these have a, um, the 24 volt ones have a 50 amp transfer capacity. So 50 amps times 240 volts, um, it can transfer through the unit from the grid. So basically that means that if your inverter charger doesn't have enough grunt um, to run the load, you can actually grab it from the grid and run the load and then when the load's finished it goes back to the grid. So I think 50 kVA is about 50 amps about 14, 12 to 14 kV off the top of my head. Um, so yeah, so you can either do the grid or do a generator plug, really depends on your situation and how you're doing it. Um, and yeah, that's basically a, a pre-wired system with the Easy Solar, they're really simple. What I like about these um, is they're so simple. A lot of it's already done all, all in one. Um, and we, we, we import and distribute nickel ion batteries, that's our favorite type of battery technology. So. Um, we do all the cables pre-wired down to a nickel ion battery bank. Uh, if you do want to purchase a different type of batteries, uh, or you already have your batteries, we can pre-wire your lugs to whatever battery technology you've got, just let us know. Um, but that's basically the ins and out of an easy solar. Um, really simple, easy installation. Um, they're easy until you're required to grow them or do something different, then things can come a bit complicated. So if you this fits within the boundaries of what you're wanting to do. Now a 24 volt system can handle about two and a half kilowatts of solar panels, where the same system in a 48 volt system can handle up to five kilowatts of solar panels. Um, but if it fits within the perimeters of what you're wanting to achieve from your off-grid system, uh, these are a really good solution to do it. Um, we sell a lot of these. Um, they also, with the monitoring, you can put it all online, um, which really helps us. If something goes wrong with the system, we can log in remotely, have a look and see what's going on. Um, 99% of the time, um, most clients have just used more energy than they've created, so it's the biggest problem that we deal with here at 24 Hour Solar Power. But all the monitoring's here, you can put it on online, for you, not just us, if you're out and about, you can check what's going on from home with your solar system. So, thanks guys.